Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how you can eat for $50 a week. There are two different ways that you could go about doing this. For example, you can buy like a one kilogram bag of rice and then like a two pound bag of beans and then like a five pound bag of potatoes and then get like a $5 pack of chicken. You can do this and you can make it work, but actually in the long run, it's actually going to make it so there's less food that you can eat and it's actually just more expensive versus buying bigger packaging and then either storing it or freezing it, etc. So to give a quick example, what I mean by this is a $4 bag of rice, it's one kilogram, versus a $20 bag of rice, which is eight kilograms. It's five times the price, but it's eight times more product. So the portion size ends up costing less. I personally eat about 100 grams of dried rice for one portion. From the $4 bag, it's 40 cents a portion, but from the $20 bag, it's 25 cents a portion. And with beans, it's even more noticeable. Like I eat about a pound of beans for one week, but if a two pound bag is $4, that's $2 on beans. But I have no idea why, but near me, the beans are super cheap. So I can get a 15 pound bag for $10. So like this one pound of beans is only 67 cents, which is an, an insane difference actually. I like to eat pickled foods every day. So I bought a 1.5 kilogram container of kimchi for $15. I eat about one portion, which is around 30 grams every day. So that's about 30 cents per portion. So even though, for example, maybe once every one to two months, I may need to spend like $50 to buy a big bag of rice, beans, and kimchi. The actual day-to-day, meal-to-meal, and weekly costs of these things get lowered significantly versus just buying a really small portion that's cheap up front, but it's expensive in the long run. So I'm going to share with you exactly everything that I spend money on and how much it equivalently costs for the entire week. So the seven portions of kimchi is $2.10. I bought a 10 pound bag of potatoes for $6, but I only eat 5 pounds, so I'm counting this as $3 because it's going to last me 2 weeks. It's about $3 of potatoes each week. So I spent $5.70 on about 2 portions worth of drumsticks. I only ate half of them, I froze the other half, but basically something that's good about this is you can bake this and then like the fat will come out of it and then you just have that cooking oil from those chickens and you can just use that as oil for the week so you actually don't even need to spend money on oil because you just have it from the meat that you cooked it's a good way to get some meat in every week you don't have to be vegetarian but you can also get cooking oil to cook your other food in to make it taste better or to just make cooking it possible as for the kind of meat you can eat it's going to be like chicken or it'll be like fish trim or like ground beef or pork or something like it's going to be cheaper stuff like you're not going to eat ribeye every single day for fifty dollars a week like the best portion i've seen of like ribeye for example is like three to four dollars which is already pretty affordable but even still if you eat a three dollar meal each day for seven days it's twenty one dollars right there just from that most of the meals that i made here are probably the most expensive one would be two dollars but most of them are like somewhere between one and two because I'm eating like two to four meals a day off of all of this stuff too, by the way. So I got a 15 pack of chickpea rotis for $4. They're high in protein. I got two pounds of tofu for $3.50. I got one big carrot. It was half a pound for 63 cents. Then I used about 25 grams of chili powder, which was about 20% of the $1.50 bag of seasoning. So that's 30 cents. And the tofu recipe that I made, I used eight grams of dried garlic and four grams of dried ginger. So that ended up being about eight cents of garlic and four cents of ginger. And then I bought a 700 gram container of Greek yogurt for 477. And then I actually used this to make a sauce for my tacos. Like I, I mixed in some of the cilantro that I put into the tomato salsa and there you go. Now you have a sauce that's also high in protein. I bought a container of 30 large eggs, it was $9.29. I eat 4 per day, so I only ate 28 of the eggs, so I end up spending $8.40 for a week on those eggs actually. 
I bought a massive green onion for like three dollars or something and like it ended up lasting me like three weeks like it still didn't go bad which was amazing so I ended up using a little bit less than a third of it so it was about 80 cents of that that I put in with the tomatoes and cilantro to make a salsa and then for seasoning I ended up using about 20 cents of salt and soy sauce throughout the week as well and I bought a 1.2 kilogram bag of broccoli for six dollars I used about 75 percent of it which was four dollars and fifty cents so the total price here ended up being $50.76. You can definitely go cheaper than this. Like I could have subbed out the cilantro for spinach. It would have been like $2 less and then I probably would have had more volume. So I could have probably eaten less of something else as well. But I wanted the flavor of the cilantro. That's all there is for this video, everyone. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. I hope you found it helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.